Yeah, yeah, um, you have been here. You have experience. Our brothers and sisters over there also need to come. You need to tell them. How will they be able to come? If you share your experience with them and you invite them, then they will also come. And then we need to change this perception that Africa is a dark continent. It is never true. Where the white man comes and then takes a picture of a flies over a child's face, certain yeah, do this and that, no. We need to change it. So we need to go there, tell them your experience, share with them, let them know that the things that they saw on the television is never true. I remember, I think 2014, when the Ebola was at its peak, Bumani and uh, a group defied all out that they want to come. There were a lot of people who were going to come, but in uh, uh, on the television and the news in the United States that no one should come to Africa. Not they didn't say Sierra Leone. They said don't come to Africa. I was to handle a, a student from Iowa. They cancelled that tour at the tail end of it, and they said they should not come to Africa for ten years. And they have not been here. But I thank God that the leader is a very strong person and they'll be coming next this year. We've entered into 2020, so this year. When Bomani and the others came, one person in the bus said something. He said, There is no Ebola in Ghana, there is Ebola in the mind of the people in. US in America. They think about Ebola. Whilst we were over here doing our own thing, and there was, there was no Ebola in Ghana. Took a lot of pictures and uh, videos, and when they went there back to US, uh, people saw that yes, there is no Ebola in Ghana.